Hi, my name is Nikolai Poznikov and I'm here to show you a new product that I created. It's called EDD Toolbar. EDD Toolbar is an add-on to Microsoft Excel and once you install it, there is no separate icon created for it. All you have to do is open Excel and find a toolbar all the way on top. So let me show you what this toolbar is and how to use it. EDD toolbar has three different sections. First section, directory list tools. These are the tools that you can use to generate a list of files or folders. We have a file path tools, which is a section where you can manipulate and work with file paths, such as separate Bates number from the path or extract extension and so on. And the third section is Bates number tools. If you have a list of Bates numbers, you can uh, split them into their individual components, merge them back together, check for gaps, and so on. Let's take a look at each of these sections individually. In the directory list tools section, we can create either a list of files or a list of folders. We can also choose a specific extension to filter by. So let's go ahead and create a list of files. I'm going to click on this button and I'm going to paste a path of a folder where I have my files stored. So right here, EDD toolbar just created a list of files for me and it put it right into my current Excel workbook. Not a separate text file that you need to load into Excel later on, it's saved right into my current worksheet. Now let's take a look and see what we can do with this directory list. Let's highlight the column and let's extract file name and file extension. Pretty simple, right? So we have our file name and the extension in a separate column. So should you choose to filter or tally by this column, it's there for you. Let's clear that out and see what else we can do. We can also get a file size. This will give you an exact byte count and then it will give you a friendly name that has kilobytes, megabytes, bytes or gigabytes. So let's clear that out. Let's say one of the file names have changed and that file no longer exists. I'm going to simulate that with changing my directory list. So I'm going to click on the column and say file found. This will tell me if there is a file that's no longer available and our directory list needs to be regenerated or we need to go and investigate a missing file. Let's clear that out and let's look at the last feature of the directory list option. We'll click on a path into Bates and what EDD tool R will do is it will split a directory list into a Bates number, prefix, a numeric portion of the Bates number, suffix, and a zero fill of the Bates number. So now your Bates number is split up into, mul into its individual components so it's easier for you to work with them using Excel. For the next section, we don't need our file path information anymore, so I'm going to delete that. And I just hit our own button, so let's go ahead and say delete. And let's just have base numbers in our first column. And let's go through the tools. Uh, split base will work the same way as it did, split base numbers from path. It will separate our prefix, number, suffix, and a zero fill. So now, let's make some changes to this. Let's, um, let's change the prefix to Nick P for some of the documents. And let's assign number 7 to all these documents, pretend that we want them suffixed, and we'll assign a suffix of A, B, C, D, and E. And we will also change number of digits we want this base numbers number to be filled as. So I'm going to add some zeros and I'm going to paste them to all other base numbers. So now we can go ahead and select our four columns, only four, and say merge bits. Now you see EDD toolbar just merged all the work we did 
into a final Bates number, take into account our new zero fill and the suffixes we just assigned. So now we can clear this out and take a look at the next feature. Uh, let's say we have numbered a set of documents, but we didn't use the right Bates number. Let's say we're, we're off by one. So we can say increase Bates by, and we could put number one, and every Bates number will be increased by that number, and it will preserve prefix, number, and the number of digits at zero fill to. We can also increase Bates number by a higher number, such as 50 or more, and we can in fact use negative numbers to decrease the Bates number. Let's take this out. And let's take a look at the last two features, which is a gap check. Um, if we highlight our column, we can click on a gap check, and EDD toolbar will tell you that we have a possible gap between these two rows, as well as here and right here. And this tells you that there is a gap or overlap, and the number tells you how many pages that gap or overlap is. So if it's an overlap between the numbers, you will see zero. Right, let's take a look and see how we can find a, a gaps or overlaps in a range of, doc, of numbers. So I'm going to paste the same column over and I am going to select only the two columns. I will not select the columns like this. I'm only going to select the cells where I need to check uh, ranges. And I'm going to click on the gap check back end and EAD toolbar will give me a similar output to the previous one where it will tell me where the gaps and overlaps are. And in this case it's checking cells diagonally. So it's checking the end number versus the beginning number of the next document. So these are the core functions of EDD toolbar. There is an additional toolbar that I'm working on which is called toolbar for PDFs. And this works in a very similar way that we saw our other functions work, uh, but this will work with the PDF files. And some of the things we'll be able to do is get a page count from a PDF file or extract metadata, merge multiple PDFs into one, as well as extract portfolio metadata from a PDF file. Site edtools.com and try out EDD toolbar for yourself. Right now the EDD toolbar is in the beta testing stage, so I will give you a free version of it. It will be a professional license. All you have to do is email me asking for a serial number and I will get that to you. Thank you for watching. Have a good day.